Spurs Township X. Spurs have won four goals to do against Olympiacos. Um, we were 2 0 down, yeah. and Mourinho makes a change after half yeah. an hour. An early substitution. Yeah, an early what do you reckon? <sighs> Honestly, balls. Mourinho has got loads of balls. First ever interview doing this, and we got a new manager, Jose Mourinho. Listen, love Pochettino, but sometimes, you know, even with a manager that's so loved, you've got to make something because, end of the day, club over manager. Tottenham Hotspur FC, that's what we're called. And Levy has done something, and this is what we have seen as a result of it. A different style of management, more aggressive than rather than passive. And yeah, like you said about the substitution, the second that he saw something wrong, nope, off you go. And that's what he did. Um, the two goals that we conceded was down to schoolboy defending, lack of marking, lack of movement. And I can imagine the, gr the grilling that those players had to have faced in the changing rooms at uh, halftime. How worrying is it that these def this defence seems to be making mistakes week after week after week and not learning from these mistakes? Do you, hope, you, do you think Mourinho could turn this defence around or is he going to have to have serious investment? Listen, you, can't, you can guide a horse to water, but you can't teach it to drink, whatever the saying is. We have, we've had, I probably said it wrong. The problem is, yeah, the problem is, yeah, this defence is outdated. 2016-17 season was the best. We've seen that defence. A few years later, it, it reaches an expiry date. And this is something Mourinho is going to have to be to put up with. We need the investment in January. I know Mourinho said in the press conference that he didn't need any new players. But I think that's just him saying that. So he doesn't make the players feel downhearted. You know, thinking like, oh, you're not good enough anymore. So you're off in January. And that's what I like about Mourinho. He's a motivator. He knows how to motivate a squad because he is a serial winner. You've seen how many trophies he's won in his career. And this is what we were calling for. Levy sacked a manager and replaced him with a manager who's got a tendency of winning trophies. And that's something that we've been calling for for ages and ages. And what I also like about Mourinho is his vo he's been so vocal. Like, I was behind him in the touchline. Like I could see him from where I was sitting. And he, did not, he was not once shouting up. Even when we went 4-2 up, he was still being vocal. That's what I like about Mourinho. This, this change was out of the bloom, but this change could benefit us. I'm not going to start getting on my high horse yet or start getting confident about it because, in all honesty, we played West Ham, who are, well, fucking shit, and Olympiacos, who are, well, good team, good spirit, but not the, yeah. not, they're, they're, they're not the, the challenge that we're yet to be tested with. Um, obviously, we t ended up turning the game around four goals to two. Uh, who was your man of the match? Ooh, I thought Deli Ali was... I thought Deli Ali was brilliant, to be fair. Kane got the two goals. Um, more, more, it's, it's hard because it, this was a team contribution as well as Mourinho's um, output of motivation implanted into the team. That, that comeback was from Mourinho. Um, I'd have to say overall was Harry Kane because, you know, every goal was vital considering that we were 2-0 down. But also, you know, I didn't think Eriksen was amazing today, but better than usual from what I've seen lately from him. You know, especially the free kick um, and the assist to Harry Kane, you know, pinpoint everything about it. We're through to the knockout stages of the Champions League. With Mourinho having a good record in this tournament, he gets many semi-final performances, uh, won it a couple of times. Do you think there's any chance we go all the way this year? We make investment, yes, if we stay how we are, no. Simple. Simple. Well, I have to look at this squad. This squad is still um, downhearted by the Champions League final. It's um, an outdated squad, like I said earlier in this interview. Um, you know, I don't know if he'll get financially backed in January. I'd like to think he would because, you know, this, this isn't some like Tim Sherwood or Sam Allardyce or some supply teacher replacement. This is Mourinho we're talking about, Mourinho. And, you know, Mourinho doesn't last very long, unfortunately, as it is. So you've got to financially back him until he starts losing his head and then starts doing these if I speak I'm in trouble interviews when and then starts like taking his anger out on the players which he has done in the past right now it's down to us it's down to the board and it's down to the players to where the future lies ahead um, don't know if we can win a trophy this season but you know let's just get whatever trophy it is FA Cup or um, Champions League trophy Cheers for coming on Sam Thank you nice one. Cheers bro Let's <laughs> go.